And now I'd like to um, introduce Claire Lawler, another member of the Cork Three Faiths Forum, who is going to lead us in prayer. First of all, I want to welcome you all to this service, to this prayer service. And it's a real privilege for me to be able to um, lead us lead us in this service today. Um, so we'll begin by a call to prayer. Creator, we gather together in community through the medium of the internet. We gather as people of faith. We gather from different corners of Cork, Ireland, and further afield, bringing together the diversity of your people, different cultures, ages, genders, faiths, and life experiences. But we gather in one spirit and with one common purpose. So let us pray together, and please do respond, even though you might be on mute. Join our hearts, our spirits, and our minds. We are called to show our love for most. Now, this evening, just to say, uh, you will see seven candles on screen. This one on screen now is marked with the symbol of each faith that's represented here tonight and represents our unity of purpose here this evening. To pray that people of different faiths may live together in peace, respecting each other and the environment that we share. The other six candles you will see represent each of the six faiths represented this evening, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Baha'i, Buddhist, and Hindu. Each candle gives light, and may they represent the light of faith, the contributions to peace, harmony, and cooperation that we and each of us can make in the communities where we live together. May the words of our prayer together this evening be heard. So I would like to welcome Alu Hamoud Hamu, uh, to lead us in the Muslim prayer. Ali Hamoud, sorry, sorry, Ali. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, praise be to the Lord of the universe who has created us and made us into tribes and nations that we may know each other, not that we may despise each other. If the enemy incline towards peace, you also incline towards peace. And trust God, for the Lord is the one that hears and knows all things. The servants of God most gracious are those who walk on the earth in humility. And when the ignorant address them, they say, Peace. God advocates justice, charity, and the doing of good to others and giving to relatives. And he forbids evil, vice, and transgression. He enlightens you that you may take heed. Let us pray together. We gather in thanksgiving to build a path of hope and to rejoice in our sharing of the peace and doing good as willed by our Creator. We are entrusted with the responsibility and the privilege of building community as collaborators, not competitors, as stewards and givers of life, kindling hope and joy as peacemakers living in harmony. I'd like to welcome Val Davin to lead us in the Jewish prayer. Come, let us go up the mountain of the Lord, that we may walk the paths of the Most High. And we shall beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. And none shall be afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. Let us pray together. May we bring about our Creator's will that we all live in peace and harmony together. Creator, we continue to put our faith in your love for creation and in your divine justice. 
We ask for your peace, which passes all understanding, and we pray that your justice, which surpasses human infection, be perfect, imperfection, be done on earth. So I would like to welcome Tony Murphy to lead us in the Christian prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me show love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Let us pray together. May we be instruments for the building of understanding, tolerance, and consolation in our community. Source of life, creator, all people, of all people equal in dignity and humanity. You have called us to live in unity and harmony, to build faith and realize community. I'd like to welcome Matthew Kennedy to lead us in the Baha'i prayer. O oh, thou kind Lord, thou hast created all humanity from the same stock. Thou hast decreed that all shall belong to the same household. In thy holy presence, they are all thy servants, and all mankind are sheltered beneath thy tabernacle. All have gathered together at thy table of bounty. All are illumined through the light of thy providence. O oh God, thou art kind to all, thou hast provided for all, dost shelter all, conferrest life upon all. Thou hast endowed each and all with talents and faculties, and all are submerged in the ocean of thy mercy. O oh thou kind Lord, unite all. Let the religions agree and make the nations one, so that they may see each other as one family and the whole earth as one home. May they all live together in perfect harmony. O oh God, raise aloft the banner of the oneness of mankind. O oh God, establish the most great peace. Cement thou, O oh God, the hearts together. Let us pray together. Lord, we Lord, acknowledge you are the source, the source of all truth, truth and, and, justice. and justice. We are called to act for the welfare and for the end of suffering in all sentient beings. May we overcome the injustice and oppression that rob humanity of dignity and value. I'd like to welcome Andrew Toomey to lead us in the Buddhist prayer. May I be a guard for those who are out without protection a guide for those who journey on the road. For those who wish to go across the water, may I be a boat, a raft, a bridge. May I be an isle for those who yearn for landfall, a lamp for those who long for light, for those who need a resting place, a bed. For those who need a servant, may I be their slave. May I be the wish-fulfilling jewel, the vase of plenty, a word of power, and the supreme healing. May I be the tree of miracles and for every being a source of abundance. Thus, for everything that lives as far as are the limits of the sky, may I provide their livelihood and nourishment until they pass beyond the bonds of suffering. Let us pray together. Stand in solidarity with those who are poor, sick and without rights. May we through our actions, bring them relief, healing, and justice. We are called to live in harmony, respecting each other's dignity and immeasurable value. I'd like to call upon 
Anu uh, Gopalaya to lead us in the Hindu prayer. May there be peace in higher regions. May there be peace in the firmament. May there be peace on earth. May the waters flow peacefully. May herbs and plants bring peace to all. May all living powers bring us to peace. The Supreme Lord is peace. May we all be in peace, peace and only peace. And may that peace come to each of us. Let us pray together. We are all called to live in harmony, respecting each other's dignity and immeasurable value. We pray that your light will shine on us and cast out the darkness of this world. Let us be united in a short period of prayerful quietness. Mindful for those who do not have peace due to conflict, displacement, or fear. Lord of peace, may we have the vision to see that each of us can help to realize these aims. Where there is ignorance and superstition, let there be enlightenment and knowledge. Where there is prejudice and hatred, let there be acceptance and love. Where there is fear and suspicion, let there be confidence and trust. Where there is tyranny and oppression, let there be freedom and justice. Where there is poverty and disease, let there be prosperity and health. Where there is strife and discord, let there be harmony and peace. Mm -hmm. Where there is injury and hurt, let there be healing and forgiveness. So we'll, for the final part of our service, we're going to ask each representative to say a blessing. Lord, we are called to renew our hope and love and to work for the unity of all peoples. As people of different faiths, we together call for your blessing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be with you. Yevarechacha Adonai v'yishmarecha. The Lord bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai p'nav elecha v'kunecha. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. Yesa Adonai p'nav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. The Lord lift up his countenance to you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Gunena knart de piloti oring, Guduga art de agna de thror doing, Gugusnok love de shin, Gunardoic balak de shin, Gamara de lanhak a hirna, Bilingi goni an lasha agusko brock. May the strength of God pilot us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the word of God direct us. May your salvation, O Lord, be always ours, this day and forevermore. Amen. God grant that the light of unity may envelop the whole earth and that the seal the kingdom is God's, may be stamped upon the brow of all its peoples. May the goodness generated by this event lead to happiness and well-being for all. May fear, animosity and confusion be over overcome. 
may all people be forever free from all pain and suffering. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. May all be prosperous and happy. Sarve Santu Niramaya. May all be free from illness. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. May all see what is spiritually uplifting. Ma Kaschit Dukha May no one suffer. Om Shantihi, Shantihi, Shantihi. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. Thank you, everyone. We have come to the end of our time of prayer together. On behalf of the Cork Three Faiths Forum, I wish to express our thanks to all of you for joining us this evening. We especially want to thank the Lord Mayor of Cork, Councillor Joe Kavanagh, our Speaker Padraig Otuama, and those who have spoken and prayed from the different faith traditions and those who have given their time to preparing this event. And we'd like to thank you all tonight for coming, for sharing and being with us. Good night to you all. <laughs>